All right, so I do a lot of travel, and I have been in the need for a money belt and had been wanting a money belt for a long time. Um, I just recently got this uh, Black Ops X Sear belt, uh, Sear Black Ops belt from Stately Asset Protection, and it is absolutely top-notch uh, because it fits two functions. One is I think it does make an effective money belt, Two, it makes for a great option to store any of your escape and evasion tools that you may carry with you. So today we're actually going to be doing kind of a two for the price of one uh, product review. This belt um, has one of the best secret compartments for a belt that I've seen. Money belts can be spotted easy on the street. And the problem with sear belts generally is that they only have, you know, one small pocket back here horizontal and it's hard to access the tools. Or you may be afraid of the tools actually falling out of the belt. This belt, on the other hand, is unique in that the entire, almost the entire length of the belt is a Velcro pocket. So you can stash not only tons of money inside here, um, but gear in strategic locations that's actually accessible with the belt on. So this is huge. I mean, this is a game changer. It's a lightweight, very casual, easy belt to, to wear while travel or day-to-day, -day, um, you know, especially when you're abroad. You know, a lot of times people focus on gun belts. I've seen sear belts, um, you know, or built on a frame of a gun belt. Well, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have a heavy duty beefed up belt if you're not going to be wearing a firearm. And if you're traveling abroad, you're most likely not going to be carrying a firearm. So it doesn't really make sense to have um, a super beefy belt for that reason. You want something light and comfortable. And that's what you get from this belt here. Um, so you know, check out Stately Asset Protection um, and their website, and um, you get a no-nonsense, multi-purposed belt. Um, just a great for your value. Um, the, the other thing that I had on here, which you probably saw inside there, is the X-Harness. Um, now, this, <laughs> this has been an excellent, excellent addition. Um, because the the and and I think it works really great with the belt because as you can see it, it's it stores very nicely in the belt. The advantage of the X harness is it gives you um, again multiple. It's it, it's a it's a uh, a tool for multiple problems. One is for immediately or what it's designed for is carrying a knife. So you could take a small knife such as, like this and. I have tried carrying this horizontal. I've tried clips. Um, sometimes I'll carry it as a neck knife. Um, but if you carry it in the X harness, um, it is very accessible and also very comfortable. But more, most importantly, uh, very covert. Uh, so when I'm in locations where maybe I don't want, when you're abroad, people don't carry their knives clipped to their pocket of their pants like a lot of Americans do. That's a great way to tip someone off that you're American, that you have a pocket knife. And in a lot of locations, um, knives are illegal. Uh, so you definitely want to carry a knife. You want it to be a little bit more covert. So when you're traveling abroad, you know, having a small fixed blade knife on an X harness is an absolutely awesome uh, advantage. The other thing about the X harness that I think is really cool is the foundation of the knot here is a, the same knot as a handcuff knot. And you may have seen a video of how to tie this knot um, down on, in my posts before. Uh, so you could take your regular paracord, make a handcuff knot, and you basically get your, your X harness here. So when you keep this knotted uh, in, in this configuration, and you come across a, a, an op, a, a particular situation where someone needs to be physically restrained, you have the tools now to do that. I often do carry 
a handcop for that reason. If you're interested in handcops, check my post out on these. It goes into detail of the history um, of these um, and, and kind of how to use them and also some videos. So check that out. But as an alternative to your handcop or kind of a makeshift restraint, this guy is awesome. The other thing is, is if you wanted to do like you know, have an escape tool to get out of, say, zip ties, and you've seen the video where uh, I use the bicycle method to use friction and get through a zip tie, um, the problem with carrying long cordage is where do you store it? You can't just ball up cordage in your pocket, but you can keep it in the back of your belt easy enough. So you, you may have to figure out how you're going to untie the, uh, the knot, um, but you can get that cordage out of your belt easy enough uh, with your hands restrained to get yourself out of zip ties. Um, so, um, you know, as an escape uh, from restraint tool, as a, as a restraint tool itself, and as a covert way to carry a knife when you're abroad um, or domestically, um, this is just an excellent, excellent option. Uh, so, Check it out, uh, Stately Asset Protection. Go for, they have lots of great gear there. Uh, very practical gear is what I like about it. Stuff that you're actually going to use in the field um, to make your travel safely safer. Um, so with that, uh, check out the reviews on uh, the blog. Otherwise, um, we'll have ask any questions or have post some comments uh, down below.